Good evening, everyone. My name is Danielle Holland from Minogue Medical and Gomard. I hope you're having a wonderful evening so far, and I welcome everyone from across Canada, from uh, Newfoundland all the way to Victoria and BC. So uh, welcome to this evening. Um, and we're going to get started. I have two of my colleagues with me, uh, Salome, she's hosting, as well as Arnaud Saint-Hilaire, um, who is one of our bilingual representatives from Quebec. So if you have any French language questions, please just go ahead and ask them. We're here to support you in whatever language you speak. Um, I'm also bringing in one of my uh, colleagues from Miami. He's going to do a little bit of a demonstration a little bit later on with regards to some of the equipment that we are going to be talking about today. Okay, so if, if you have any questions during the presentation, if you're very familiar with Zoom, that's fantastic. Um, but you can just go into the chat and you write your question and you can send it to everybody. We'd be happy to um, send it to or answer your questions. We're going to typically take care of the questions closer to the end, but if you have something that's really glaring that you need to have answered now, then uh, don't just go ahead and type it in there and be happy to try to halt and, and answer your questions. For today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking a little bit about Minogue Medical and how we got into working with GOMARD. Um, then we're going to talk about GOMARD, a little bit of their history, and then we're going to discuss uh, Omni2 and Omni1 software. That's the software that monitors the eCPR and doing your chest compressions, um, vital signs monitoring, all that, that piece. Um, then we, I've got a couple of different pieces of equipment that we've picked out specifically for this category with either um, BCLS, ACLS, PALS, they'd be all um, good equipment to work in that zone. Okay, so Minogue Medical, it's part of our biggest mission and a pleasure for ours to bring uh, really high quality products to healthcare providers. And that's something that we take pride in. Um, we work specifically with some of our bigger things, our Da Vinci surgical robots, and we work all the way down with really small little things, even down to sutures. So um, everything in between, but all very quality products. And we have biomedical engineers across Canada to help support teams as well. So a little bit about GOMART. They were for, uh, founded in 1946, and we've been working very diligently to bring in new pieces of equipment, uh, work on innovation. Um, we have a whole range of equipment from skills trainers to extremely high fidelity equipment. Um, everything's made in the US and then uh, Minogue Medical is the Canadian distributor. Our equipment is represented in pretty much everywhere you can think that somebody would touch another body with regards to healthcare. So we do have a lot of um, OBGYN, obstetrics, acute care, nursing, paramedics. We work with all teams um, in hospitals, universities, colleges, military, EMS, and um, flight now as well. So we, we do have a huge amount of people that we work with and equipment to work and help with all of their needs. We pride ourselves on that we do have a lot of wireless tetherless pieces of equipment. That means that you can stand and control the simulators from 30 feet to 90 feet away, depending on the piece of equipment. Um, and it's really good for throwing down a simulator in the middle of a field and standing on the side and watching your team work. Um, and that's what makes those situations a little bit more real. Some of our other equipment, we have dynamic lung compliance, these guys look real, they feel real when people touch them. Um, and they're really fun simulators. And teams really seem to enjoy them. Uh, for some of our higher fidelity simulators, we do have pre-programmed scenarios that are included with the equipment, um, as well as you can create your own. A lot of our equipment, the simulators, you can use your own vital signs monitoring, your own diagnostic equipment, so your O2Sats, um, your ECGs, and you can defib a lot of our equipment as well with real energy. Some of our high fidelity simulators, I don't know if you see that lovely birthing torso there, but it is 
they look and feel real. My background is obstetrics and nursing. So um, when I say it looks pretty real and feels real when you're delivering that baby, it really does. <laughs> um, so we do have some fantastic innovations, unsurpassed realism. Um, and again, that wireless tetherless piece of um, equipment. This is just a little bit about the uni, which is not the focus of where we're going today. We're really gonna look more at the Omni 1 and Omni 2 for basic um, CPR and just getting the feedback there. But um, this is just an introduction to our uni. Uh, it controls all of our high fidelity simulators, some of our mid fidelity as well. We have automatic mode, um, real time physiological monitoring. So if your teams are doing something, the simulator is going to react and respond appropriately. And all of this software is free to use. So when you're using it and you want another team member to learn how to use it, you can put it onto their computer as well. So for our resuscitation, one of the simulators that I do want to highlight is the S315 family. Um, these guys are customizable to your needs. So if you have needs based on what your team is doing. If you're doing trach and crike, then we have a simulator that can do that that's in this family. If you're doing chest tubes, we have one in this family. But if you're just doing chest compressions and airway management, we have one of those too that doesn't have all those other little pieces on it so that you don't, you get the equipment that you need that's going to really enhance the work that you're doing with your teams. Um, this particular one is the S315.600.250 um, and that is the Omni, the one with Omni 2. And this is a handheld tablet controller. I'm just going to play this video for you so you can kind of see how this works. Whoever is doing the chest compressions, the rate and depth and speed is all being monitored on your tablet so you can see how well they're doing there. Um, and then as soon as somebody provides a ventilation, it will tell you how well the ventilation went in. And we're going to have a little bit more information in a few minutes. And you can see the chest rise as well. And they can continue doing their compressions. And what you're gonna notice down on this little picture down at the bottom here is there's this little red thing and that's actually a connect, extra connection cable if you are doing a defib. So if you're actually shocking your patients, um, we have the ability to use a convertible um, Zoll Phillips or LifePak uh, conversion wire to help attach it so that you're not using any of your consumables. But if you'd actually want to have these people put on their pads and shock, um, then we have that option too with the patches right there. And there we go. So now we're just going to quickly, well, not quickly, we're going to talk about three different simulators <laughs> that, um, that are really designed for kind of the CPR, maybe the ACLS and PALS and NRP type zone of equipment. Um, and what you're going to see with these little guys, they have realistic eyes, they have disposable airways. Um, and if you're putting an oral air, oral airway in, you're able to do that with these guys as well. Uh, realistic chest rise when you're bagging, um, or even if you're doing mouth to mouth. Um, this is controlled by the Omni One tablet. You have very nice chest rise when you actually apply that bag. And the baby has unsurpassed realism. For, for this category. Our pediatric simulator is very much the same, the same type of airway. Um, you can put your oral airways in, you can use a disposable airway if you would like. Um, the bag valve mask works as well. Closed eyes, when they open, they have one eye that's dilated fully. Um, you can block the airway when the head is tilted forward realistic chest rise again during ventilation. This particular model has an intravenous arm, realistic hands and feet, and IM injection sites. Instead of the S315, which sometimes is a little bit more advanced um, than a lot of teams need, we do have the S309 at Torso. This guy has the ability to be a full body simulator as well. The S315 family Again, you can get arms and legs for him too, um, depending on what your needs are. But this gentleman is probably one of the most easy to use in the, for the CPR category, could also well be used for um, an ACLS basic trainer as well. Um, 
this guy has multiple pulse sites. So if you're doing your compressions or there's even a little bulb that you can push to give him a pulse if you were wanting to check a pulse. The eyes will open and close like a doll and realistic chest rise when you bag. And again, an oral airway is able, you're able to put in an oral airway. Just a little bit of a demonstration. My colleague Tyson in Florida, yay, Miami, a little bit warmer than here right now. <laughs> If it weren't a bad weather time or a bad uh, time to go, then I wouldn't mind being there. Um, but he's just going to demonstrate the Omni One tablet um, as well as our EPR eCPR interface, so that you can see how you see the reports. Um, and he's also just so you guys have a heads up, he's cheated on the chest compression depth. Um, so when you see 0.4 instead of five centimeters, then that's that's not an error. He did it on purpose because he wanted to make it easy for this video. This is one of the many- uh, Can anybody hear S anything? 315 yeah. series of task trainers that Gomard offers. Uh, these products are designed around learning the basics of CPR, uh, performing uh, airway procedures and monitoring the effectiveness, uh, quality, and uh, proficiency of CPR uh, for, for our uh, patients. The Omni One device seen here uh, is connected to the simulator. and provides us with uh, some feedback in real time through the use of uh, two different compression, uh, one compression and one ventilation sensor that will display on the device. We can set our goals for uh, compressions and ventilations here straight from the device and then view the effectiveness of those compressions and ventilations in real time as we're performing CPR. Uh, so if we can visualize It looks like we might be having a little bit of some freezing issue. You can see that we're seeing some feedback here on the Omni. You can see why he cheated on the test step, huh? And for compressions, as well as our ventilations, as I perform those ventilations. Uh, so we can adjust that device. And also with that system, is a software uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, now. I'm gonna share my screen now. And so this also allows us to see through a Windows computer, through a Windows device, the uh, CPR in real time. And we have a lot more information presented to us. We have, as we can see, the compression uh, depth the compression rate, the release uh, in between compressions, our overall ratio of compressions to ventilations, the ventilation volume and ventilation duration as well. And I can use this software to generate a report that can then be saved as a PDF. And we can then save it uh, for, um, for evaluation and, and, and studies at a later time. So. Uh, up here in the top right, there's a start button. I can also use a coach mode that will give me an audible uh, beeping sound and performing well. Go faster. Uh, and so that is for, you know, informing them live. 
for the, the computer to tell them how well they're performing. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and perform CPR here. And once I've done a few cycles, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And uh, it's going to generate a report based off of the quality. So I come here to my reports and I can open up this report. And now, based off of our goals here, so um, I, I don't know that I uh, set up the, the goals uh, for the latest guidelines. I, I just did it rather rather quickly here. but. We can see, well, I was a little bit under the average compression rate, um, uh, but yeah, there you see that the depth is, is obviously way off. I, I was, I made it easy for myself. <laughs> so we have all the feedback for compressions and ventilations here, and then it's the software will then break it down by cycle, cycle by cycle, to show us the overall performance of compressions and ventilations. And so there's our first cycle, here's our second cycle. So it's gonna uh, break it down. Uh, any further cycles will then be broken down here. Um, <clears throat> and so the between the simulator, uh, the Omni control device and the eCPR software, we can uh, create a, a coaching mode, we can create a testing mode uh, or multiple different types of environments where they're going to be performing CPR and we're going to be able to evaluate based off of our criteria. Uh, now there's also the Omni 2 device, which I have right here. Uh, so I have a different simulator set up here with the Omni 2 and we can see that device uh, and it shows us a lot more information. Uh, and so it's going to have our compression uh, depth, our compression rate, our ventilation duration and ventilation uh, pressure here, as well as our ratios and our overall CPR time. Um, so I can perform the same thing and adjust my goals uh, for compressions and ventilations and see the overall effectiveness and quality of CPR uh, using the Omni 2 device as well. Uh, and also any Omni 1 simulator can later on be updated or upgraded to utilize the Omni 2 device as well. This is... So, that is the basic demonstration of our Omni 1 and Omni 2. Um, now we're going to open it up for questions, and I do see a couple in the question field, and I'm probably going to have to get back to you on the first one because I've never tried it. So um, the first question that I see here is, um, can you use eCPR on an Android? I have not tried, but I will answer you. Um, feel free to message me privately with your um, email and I would be happy to get back to you with regards to that. And then I have another question here. Um, can you hold multiple mannequins hooked up at the same time? Um, theoretically, you can open multiple programs, but um, no, 
know, you can't view them all on the same space. Do you need anything that is retrofitable for BLS juniors and babies? No. We only, we at GoMart is a separate product line and we don't have um, equipment that will work with other types of simulators. Um, Google. I will have to ask about the Android and the, the Google. So again, just send me your uh, email and a private message and I would be happy to answer your question for that. Yes, so when, when uh, you purchase one of our simulators, it comes with the simulator, the tablet, um, and we will give you either a CD or access to download the eCPR um, software for your computer. And as far as I know, the software itself does definitely works on PC, and I would probably say it won't work on um, Apple. So um, a client, somebody here was just asking about virtual classes and yeah, you would probably have to send each person their own simulator um, and then have them connected and kind of like what we did here. And they're gonna do their compressions from their side and then you can see how well they're doing maybe through a VPN or, or even through Zoom and have them share their screen. It's possible and I would love to work with you to figure out how to do that. Um, does this work off any other brand of mannequins? Nope, um, our software only works with Gomart. If anyone has any questions in the next couple of days or hours or minutes, I am happy to work with you and discuss uh, the equipment further, whether it be for CPR classes or mid fidelity or high fidelity, and you've come in with this wonderful idea that you're gonna do mass casualty training for the city. Um, whatever it is, I'm happy to discuss um, your future needs, ideas, thoughts. Um, I can also connect you with teams across um, Canada and we can also work on building some of those relationships so that you guys have some wonderful, fantastic ideas to hear from other people. Are there any more questions? Okay. I would like to thank you guys all for spending this lovely evening with me um, and getting to know Govart. You will be receiving a survey from Eventbrite and I hope that you guys all take time to fill it out. Shouldn't be too many questions. It just helps us get better at what we're doing and making sure that we're sharing content that is helpful, that if we need to learn something, we're happy to um, learn as well. So we're here for you um, and I hope you have a fantastic evening.